Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, I am gonna be sharing an incredible hidden feature that most likely is staring you at your face and you're not even aware it is there and it does have some powerful capabilities. Now, the feature I'm talking about has to do with the Google search bar that you see right over here. So first and foremost, if you don't have the Google search bar, all you do to get that bar is to pinch the screen, go to the widgets, scroll down until you find Google, which is gonna be right here. As you can see, tap it, and you are able to access all the available widgets, one of them, which is the Google search bar. And then you simply tap it and drag and drop it wherever you want on the screen. So once you have the Google search bar, there is an incredible feature that is right over here, and that's the camera icon, which is known as the Google Lens. With Google Lens, when you tap on it, it launches the camera, it points to whatever you are pointing, and you are able to quickly find stuff. So as an example, I'm just gonna put this product right over here, okay? I'm gonna tap on search, and within seconds, I get Google results showing me exactly what that product is, where I can buy it, and stuff like that. Now, that is obviously one use case scenario. Let me tap that again. You can also use it to basically identify anything. Again, I can point this to a tree outside in the nature. It's gonna quickly tell me what type of tree that is. Even if I grab something random like this and put it right over here, and again, tap on search, it is gonna find me exactly what that, that thing is. And also, it is gonna describe what that thing is using AI. As you can see, there's a description, and then there's also search results at the bottom. You can just point at anything and you can find exactly what those things are, okay? So that's just a simple example right over there using Google Lens. Now, beyond that, you can see if you point Google Lens at a foreign language text, you can translate that from any language. It will detect the language and then you are able to translate that to basically any language in the world. You can try this if you are in a foreign country, just point it anywhere. It could be a photo, a menu, bunch of instructions, whatever, it is going to translate to any language. Let me show you a quick example. I'm gonna translate. I'm gonna bring this right over here, okay? So it just took that. Look, it is actually changing the language on the piece of paper that I'm holding, okay? So again, this is Turkish. It knew what it was, and then it translates that from Turkish to English just like that incredible look how quick it is boom all right and also if you're a student and you want google to do your homework look at that right over here we have the homework tab at the bottom and you simply point it at anything and it is going to actually do the homework for you so maybe it's a mathematical equation that you're trying to solve let me give an example so you can see how amazing it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan this right over here. It's a simple equation with a couple of variables. Take a look at this. I'm just gonna tap on the homework icon, which I just did. And now I can put the uh, book away and look at this. I'm gonna select the text that I wanna solve. It just knows what to do. It knows to find X. It knows all the values I fed it and it gives you a breakdown, which doesn't just give you an answer, it actually shows you how to solve it, okay? So it just took everything that I was on the, on the piece of paper that was right over there, right here, it just transferred it over here to Google's AI, it tells me exactly how to solve it with step-by-step -step instructions. This is crazy, and I know a lot of people were not aware of this, okay? So that's one thing. Now, I am gonna add an additional tip here that I think you're gonna love. So when you have this Google bar, you can also customize the shape and the color. Okay, this is just a bonus tip. You tap on the G, all right? And then you tap on the settings right over here. And then you go over to the settings, okay? Once you're in the settings, you go to customize search widget. And then you can see we can go dark, we can go for device color. 
we can go custom so i can pick basically any color that i want and even change the transparency and also make some additional modifications such as the shortcuts okay i can even change the shortcuts and once you're done you go back out xxx outside and it's going to change the color to your specifications okay guys so a quick great feature that a lot of people are simply not are not aware of if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now have a fantastic day